My name is Simone and people call me the queen of robots. I run a YouTube channel about different projects I build. Most of them are pretty useless. Spectacular failure is probably my specialty. I might also be the world's only full-time inventor of things that don't work. A badge of honor, I, I wear it with pride. That's beautiful. So I have a pretty eclectic background. I was running a startup and I got really frustrated that I couldn't program and make like the, the website that I wanted to have. And I was constantly looking for somebody who could do it for me until I realized like, wait, I should just teach myself how to do it. So I started learning how to code and then I just got a lot of ideas involving hardware. And that was how I got into electronics. Some of the things that have defined me or kind of made me who I am is I was born and raised in Sweden and I had very forgiving parents. They kind of let us do whatever we wanted as long as it didn't hurt anyone. Also, probably the first time I blinked an Arduino board. You get this like feeling of like, oh my God, I just made this thing do something was, was mind blowing. I uploaded my first robot, it's about two and a half years ago now, and I had built this toothbrush helmet. And I, I built it because I wanted to do a kid's show about electronics, and so I filmed like this little pilot episode in my bedroom and sent it to them, and they never got back to me. So I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? So I made a seven second video and uploaded it and also turned it into a GIF. And within a day, it had like half a million views. And that was kind of when I was like, wait, maybe this is a thing. Within three months, I started working full-time with building useless machines, which is crazy. I occasionally get treated as an authority when it comes to robots or automation or artificial intelligence. And I mean, in all reality, I don't have a technical background. I'm self-taught in electronics and hardware, and I'm just, just like a happy hobbyist who happened to get a lot of attention. But at the same time, I understand that I come from a different perspective than most people. The reason that I think robots are not just shitty is that they are reflecting something that we're struggling with in society. We're kind of seeing like, what is our role if, if these robots come and do the things we can do? And I, I think that people find a lot of relief from seeing robots struggle with things they do in their everyday lives, like tying shoelaces. Tying shoelaces is really difficult from a mechanical perspective, and it's something that you and I do every day and we don't think about it twice. There's just something of feeling like, okay, there are still things I can do that technology is struggling with. I want to work with one of KUKA's collaborative robot arms because I'm gonna bring it into my home environment and I wanna be able to interact with it directly. I mean, most robot arms are, are like in a cage or behind a glass encasing and you can only communicate with it programmatically. And I think what's really exciting about the collaborative robot arms is you can physically just move it around and show it how you want it to move and what you want it to do. I might be one of the first people in the world that get to have an industrial robot arm in their home setting. I think it looks good. I don't have anything orange in my house. As much as people are familiar with robots and talk a lot about robots, very few have actually interacted with the ones who make all the products that we have around us. And I'm just excited to, to show people what they look like and what they do and what they can do. A candy cane! Yes! It's drawing candy canes! The web series is going to be about robot against human. The juxtaposition of having this piece of incredible machinery and have it do kind of stupid things it's like pop bubble wrap. There's just something really funny and hilarious about that and I want to explore what that means. I have some fun ideas of things I want to make it do. I call it kinematic kitty because it's like having a cat but sheds less hair. Yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, wire it. Orange Intelligence.